How do we make the world work for 100% of humanity in the shortest possible time through spontaneous cooperation without ecological damage or disadvantage to anyone? This is the fundamental question posed by the Global Energy Network Institute, known as GENI, located in San Diego, California since 1989. The GENI initiative offers a premier solution to this question, clean energy for all. The solution is both simple and ambitious, linking renewable energy resources between regions around the world. Now, with the efforts of committed students from around the world conducting research, we are working to accelerate the speed and scale of renewable development and interconnections between all nations. We would like to show you a series of videos from the work of these students, and you'll see results that show a path towards a more sustainable future for all. My name's Tanya. I'm an intern here at Genie. I'm from the UK. Um, I was born and grew up there and I moved over to the US about two years ago because I love America and I just wanted to live here. I finished my master's in the UK. I actually did a master's on offshore and ocean technology. So during the master's we did a module on renewable energy and I also did like subsea engineering. So it was good to see a comparison and during my master's I actually got very interested in renewable energy because we've always had this resource and it could like solve a lot of our problems. So I just decided that this is where I wanted my career to go because it is something of today and it's something that can make a change and something that's happening now. So I decided that I wanted to volunteer to get some experience and I found Jeannie and I wanted to do something worthwhile with my time. So I came here. So I'm doing a project here, on, I'm writing a paper on whether the UK can become 100% renewables by 2020. I decided to do the UK obviously because I'm from there and I'm very familiar with the country, the policy and legislations and things like that. And also this paper will be sent to decision makers so this sounded like a viable project to do uh, because this can make a change. Well. The key points are, first of all, I found it is possible, and also there is a vast amount of resource in the UK, especially marine and offshore resource, and the UK is actually using less than a third of its potential resource in offshore wind. Also, I found that the offshore resource in the UK could theoretically power, meet the worldwide demand about six times over. Um, I show in figure 9 that in about 25 to 50 metres deep offshore we have enough resource that can meet um, the demand today and beyond that is much greater than that. The UK government has shown great commitment, it's, it's shown concern, it's obviously signed the Kyoto Protocol and it's set its own ambitious targets as well. So the incentive is there and that's like a big plus if you want to make changes. And since, the, since they introduced the renewables obligation, renewable generation has increased about three times as much. The main point I'd like to make is that the cost of doing nothing and not making a change is far greater than the cost of making changes. So the recommendations I would make to the UK is to make a big investment in renewable energy also to re-evaluate the subsidies so it becomes more cost effective to the manufacturers and installers. Um, also, I would recommend um, the super grid and strengthening the grid because that is vital. And to speed up planning delays because this is something that needs to happen very quickly. Yeah.